Hello everyone. So how are you? Today we are solving this problem. Find the longest substring containing the vowels in even counts. So basically, um, one string is given to us, and we have to find the longest substring in this string so that it would have the even number of the vowels. Okay. So uh, we have there. There would be multiple such substrings, but we have to find the biggest one. Okay. so uh, we will keep on understanding of this question then it would be very simple i can guarantee you guys can solve it on your own once we will understand it so let me explain what is the approach behind it so one simple approach is like we go to every substring and then count the number of uh, vowels inside that substring right so this would be very inefficient way right so we cannot go in that way so we will go in a different way so the thing is let's say if we are uh, moving from left to right in the string we can keep on counting of the five vowels right so for example till here e came one time so this is uh, odd right so we will keep on going we will coming this we are coming at here now this time e is coming uh, two times right so uh, till here e l e is one of the ballet string right then again we are coming at e so in this case this is becoming odd right so this is not valid so either we have to start from here at l and till here this is also a valid right this also could be valid if we go till here that is also a valid one right like this if we keep on going i came two times so valid then here o o came two times so this also valid right and we add r so this also valid so see here starting from the second till r we are fine right because all of them are came uh, even number of time correct but what if i am adding this o then o become odd number of time right similarly if we could have gone uh, further then there is no more o but e is coming now uh, if we include the first one as well then e is coming now even number of time right so there could be multiple such scenario we just cannot rely on any kind of greed here okay so what to do then so uh, basically whenever we are traversing from left to right in the string it doesn't matter we can even traverse from right to left as well so the thing is we have to keep on the uh, counting of all the characters all the vowels basically which is not because we have the five different vowels then this might not be a very efficient way that five different variables we are keeping on uh, counting of all of them this could be like an array we would have to have of size 5 right so this would not be an efficient way then what to do there must be some way so that we can keep on doing and uh, we don't have to again count and everything right so you guys know we can indicate with the certain bits to every number for example we have five uh, vowels right a e i o u right so for those a e i o u if i assign a bit to all of them there could be a possibility that these are five so we can make a five bit number right so 0 0 0 0 and 1 so i am indicating a with this number similarly for e i am indicating 0000010 okay so first bit i am indicating as uh, uh, a and the second bit i am indicating as uh, e and similarly what would be for i for i we would be indicating the third bit so this guy 0 and 0 now come to o so o here this would be 0 this would be 1 rest all are zero okay similarly for u u is the biggest guy so first bit right and then remaining we will keep on 0 0 0 and 0 so in this way you guys came to know that uh, we can make the bit representation of all these vowels right so now we can say that this five number bit can make a uh, help to us in solving this problem now what that help is so what if i keep on doing the zor of all those numbers he see here whatever number is coming here because every character we can change to the number right so 
I'm mapping this A E I O U with these bit number. So what is this number? This number would be one, right? This is one. This one is two. This one is four, right? This one is eight, and last one is sixteen. This one is sixteen. So these numbers we have assigned to these uh, uh, five characters, all the vowels. Now what is next? The next thing is whenever we are traversing. through this string if i do the zor of all the numbers okay if i do the zor of all the numbers all those characters which are repeating in even number okay so let's say this a e i o u all of them came even number and i am keeping on doing the zor of them then when all of them are coming even number of time the zor of them would be zero basically we can take an example for for example let's say uh let's take let let's take an example that we have a a e e i i and o o and u u okay o o and u u so basically i have repeated all of them in the even number correct so if i do the zor with itself what it gives so if we do the zor with the itself it always gives us a uh, zero right you can check for example we will do 0 0 0 0 and 1 and similarly with 0 0 0 0 1 i am doing the zor of a with a right so when same number we have zor gives zero right 1 and 1 this will give zero this also will give zero 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 and zero right so every times whatever number of things it comes even number of time let's say this came two times then it is giving us zero if it was it was coming three times then what we would have done let's say do one more zor with this 0 0001 so if we do zor again what would be the value so when numbers here is zero it is one so it will come zor one right rest would be same so same values comes zero only in case of zor so see in this case when odd number time it comes it gives the same number right so three times five times nine times it will always give 00001 but if came even number of time it will always give 00 right so for that reason i am saying that whenever all of whatever number of uh, uh, these things uh, vowels came even number of time at that time this would be giving us the value would be zero of that zor okay so this assumption should be clear so now we can say that if we keep on doing zor of all the all the characters from left to right all the vowels whenever they are coming the the zor value is zero then we can make sure that the all the vowels so far has come uh, even number of time so this will help us in solving this problem so now guys you can see here this is a 5 bit number right so for a 5 bit number how many possibilities would be there how many values could be there 2 to the power 5 right so it could be from starting 0 to uh, 31 right so total 32 possibilities of these values could be there when we do the zor okay now when we will do the zor basically we will keep on storing those locations right that if some zor is repeating again okay so when we are doing a zor if that zor value is repeating that means that character came already sometimes for example we started here at e right then what would be our zor value initially our zor value would be uh, like this this is the 00010 now at this time when we will come here right at third location again e is coming even number of time so zor value would be become zero right so initially it was 2 for e we started here right so at the third location when we are reaching at this e this is the even number of time so at that time zor value would be zero right now we will keep on going again see here so at very first time it was 2 right this guy it was initially 2 then we came second location this is l so it will not make any difference then we came here at this e then our zor value become zero then we are keep on going again here so what would be the zor here 
so even number it is zero and then we will again do the zor with this number it will give the same number two right so again this two came so this two came again then we can say this two was we have to check whether this two already occurred or not so we can see here at very first time it was two at this e it became zero but at this e it again became two so that means this number e was somewhere already occurred correct so we can say at what time at, at what location it occurred it occurred at zeroth location right so what if if we do the current indexes uh, at this at this it is uh, 0 1 2 3 right at 3 it occurred again so what we can say at i equal to 3 minus and at what index it was already occurred that was at 0 so if we do 3 minus 0 we can find that this would be one this might be one of the answer because see here if we start from l till this e this is a valid number right valid string because e came two times so l e e so this would be our intuition so what we will do is we will make a uh, map map or we can in, in make one array also we don't need to make the hash map of 32 size okay so 32 size array we will make and we will keep on storing the uh, indexes at what value what index came so for example here if we would have started so at at the when value was 2 it occurred at 0 right again this uh, we came here at e so when value was 0 it occurred at uh, index 1 similarly when we came here when value was uh, uh, again 2 it was occurred at uh, this location 3 right so whenever we are finding that something already occurred that means we have found at least one valid string so we will keep on storing if this is making a greatest value and similarly we would be repeat throughout for all the uh, characters and at the end we would have so what we will do is whenever we are finding it already occurred zor value we will uh, make the difference with that index and in this way we will find the greatest value okay so let's do uh, a dry run that how would we do that so see here we will have uh, this kind of thing right so uh, we are starting initially our zor value is zero right and we are starting with the very first index so index also zero and initially our length is also zero right so when we will come here at e right at e what it is e it is a uh, uh, two right this would be our two so uh, when we will do the zor with zero and two okay so what would be the value when we, when we do the zor with zero it always the same number so this would be two here now we will store this two so this two occurred at where this two occurred at zero right now we are coming at l right so l is anyway zero only because in map we don't have anything we have only these guys are having the values rest other are zero so again at this location this also again would be zero only right so see here we will check whether in map it is already exist yes this value 2 is already existing at index 0 correct so what would be our answer we will make the difference so this is at 1 so 1 minus 0 so right now we got a length of 1 right then we are coming to the, this third location so what would be the zor this time our zor would become 0 because e is repeated so this 0 is repeated here so whenever we are getting zero we can make sure that it is from a start till till this end it is basically is a valid string right so what would be the answer here so zero is already occurred so it would be like uh, we started from zero till we found it i equal to what was the index i equal to it was two right so it would be uh, two minus zero so, so 2 minus 1 so let's say so in our map we will initially put that when uh, zor was 0 right we will keep, keep it minus 1 so when we came this location okay our zor becomes 0 right so we will check does it already contains yes it contains and because we initialized with the minus 1 initially 
so if it contains we have to make the difference so what is the difference so this index is 0 1 2 so 2 minus minus 1 so it would become 3 right now we are coming at here so what will happen this time what would be the ZOR value now ZOR value will again become 2 right this time ZOR would become 2 so does 2 already exist yes 2 already exist so what is the current current index current index is 3 right so current index is 3 so what we have to do 3 minus what value is stored at 2 so this is 0 right so uh, at here uh, 2 minus 0 if we do 2 minus 0 what would be the answer here it would be 2 minus 0 would be 2 right but uh, this 2 is not greater than we already have the 3 right so because we are looking for the longest value so we will not do anything here okay now we are done till here we will come to t so t will not make any difference again the zor value would be 2 only correct because uh, zor value 2 so 2 already exists which is 0 so this time what we will do this will this time we will do 4 right i is 4 right so 4 minus 4 minus 0 what would be the answer 4 minus 0 would be 4 only so this time we will update this because it is greater than 4 so we did till t now we are coming to m right so again we came to m in this way see our zor value is not changing zor is still 2 so what is there at 2 it is 0 and index is here of uh, 5 so 5 minus 0 it is 5 so uh, we are at index 5 and our value is also becoming 5 so in this way we will keep on going right we will keep on making zor and whenever we are seeing anything which is repeating we will check it here and anything when new comes we will store that with the index so this is way finally we will get our longest string so let me show you my code so you guys can see here initially what i am doing i just created one vowel map which is basically an integer array of 26 characters so here i am storing we, we remember we give the a we give value 1 for e we give 2 for uh, uh, a e i for i we give 4 right just like this whatever value this assignment right this assignment i am doing here to this vowel integer right so after doing this i am just making one uh, prefix or variable we started with the zero initially this one we started with the zero right so same thing i am doing here and then see here this is my zor array of 32 now you might have a question why 32 because we have five bit variables right so only 32 possibility would be there 2 to the power 2 to the power 5 which is 32 so starting from 0 to 31 there would be total 32 values so that is why i am taking this as 32 bit now initially i am putting the minus 1 value for everyone now see here i am doing the zor with the every character okay so see here whenever it is minus 1 so whenever the zor value in the zor array it is minus 1 in this array it in this array right if it is minus 1 what i am doing that means this new value is coming for the first time okay now if this zor is not equal to 0 that means some odd number of any bobble has came so for that reason i am storing the indexes that at what index it came okay so till this time we are only storing at what index that particular value came now see here at this location what we are doing we are getting the uh, math.max of longest which we created and i i is the current index i minus whatever the zor prefix value whatever we stored right so this is where we were doing right every time we will taking this index minus whatever the zor value has stored so same way i am doing there and in this way we will have the finally the longest value so let me execute this code yeah it is working fine let me try to submit it it is already submitted but i still am doing so yeah it is submitted it it's almost 99 percent faster so thank you for watching the video if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there